we got some good news for Kevin Durant. This really doesn't have anything to do with sports. This actually has something to do with him and Mike Holney's um, um, short film, Two Distant Strangers. It actually won an Oscar for the best short film or best live action short film. I should be more specific about that. Uh, Durant and Colney were two of 10 exec- executive producers on the film. Uh, it, it dramatizes police brutality um, in America, which I actually seen, I actually seen the short film. It's actually really good. Um, I'm pretty sure it's on YouTube. You can definitely check it out on there. But if not, then you'll probably have to look it up on Google and see where you can find it there. Um, yeah, Mario, let me tell you something. Kevin Durant was already a Hall of Famer as it is. This dude just added an Oscar to that. That's 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 awesome. There's not a lot of there's not a lot of app Hall of Fame athletes that that can say that not only am I a Hall of Famer in the sport, but I'm a Hall of Famer outside of the sport. It's it's pretty it's pretty amazing, Mario. Um, uh, I'm gonna pass on to you before I do that. This article was written by ESPN News Services, so I'll let you start off first, Mario. Congratulations to Kevin Durant and Mike Conley on uh, winning their Oscars, and congratulations to Two Distant Strangers. Uh, yeah, you know, you know, Nate, this was opened by one person. That was Kobe Bryant. You know, before Kobe Bryant won that Oscar, athletes really didn't even think about becoming executive producers and creating Oscar-winning films. You know, they didn't think about it until Kobe Bryant came uh, came up with the idea of I think it was Dear Basketball. I think that was I think I think that was the name of, of the uh, short film that he won. I'll look it up. Um, thank you. I, I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. But yeah, I mean, first of all, congratulations to Kevin Durant and Mike Conley. You know, and this I think this is going to start creating a lot of avenues for athletes to realize like, hey, look, I can produce a film and, you know, possibly win an Oscar for it. And I haven't seen the film. I'll take your word on it. It's very, it, like you said, it's very good. I might have to check it out. Um, I still haven't even watched uh, Dear Basketball. But um. But I mean, look, I, this is opened up by Kobe Bryant, I feel like. I feel like Kobe Bryant opened up this path for athletes to go and create films that could win Oscars, you know? And it's kind of weird, Nate. Here's what I think is so weird about it, Nate. I think it's weird that Kobe Bryant won an Oscar around the same time as Leonardo DiCaprio won his first. That's why I think it's so weird. Now, I think, the personally, I think Academy Awards like this and the Grammys, I don't think they're rigged. I don't want to use that word, but I think, like, I think they show a lot of favoritism, you know? I think Leonardo DiCaprio should have multiple Oscars by now. I think there's a lot of other actors who never won an Oscar or never won a Grammy. But, I mean, the fact that, like, athletes are winning them before big-time movie stars, I think it's pretty funny. I really do. But, I mean, you know, besides that, again, congratulations. Again, police brutality, it is a big issue in this world right now. Obviously, we've seen what happened with uh, George Floyd, uh, Breonna Taylor, um, so yeah, it's a very, very uh, sensitive topic to touch up on. So, you know, I mean, I'm glad that Kevin Durant and Mike Conley were able to create this film to bring awareness to it. The NBA has done a great job of bringing awareness to Black Lives Matter and police brutality and injustice regarding uh, African-Americans in this country. So I'm glad that they're spreading more awareness to this. You know, this is sports is a huge platform. We talk about it many, many times. You know, sports is a big platform for people to say what's on their mind, express their opinion, and people listen because athletes are looked up to, you know. So I'm glad that Kevin Durant did this. Same thing as Mike Conley. I'm glad he did this. And I'm glad they won the Oscars for this as well. Because not only does it spread awareness to this topic, but it creates paths for athletes to continue doing this in the future. Who knows? Maybe LeBron James will be the next one to win an Oscar. Maybe it'll be Steph Curry. Maybe it'll be Luca. Maybe it'll be Giannis. And be, we don't know, you know, but maybe, hell, even maybe Michael Jordan. I can see Michael Jordan doing something like this. But you know what? I'm glad that they're opening up this path. And I'm glad that, you know, entertainment and sports are colliding together. And I know sports is part of entertainment, but I'm glad that the movie business and sports are coming together for a bigger cause such as this right here. So with that being said, again, congratulations to Kevin Durant and Mike Conley. Best of luck to them in the rest of the season. And looking forward to whatever is left in their future, not just in the NBA, but outside of it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, best of luck to Kevin Durant and uh, Mike Holney, and congratulations to them. Uh, and to answer your question, yeah, it was called Dear Basketball, Mario. But, um, yeah, man, I mean, and and that's something that I actually took in college, you know, and if, and if you're in college or if you're about to go to college, taking a film class, I highly recommend it. It's so much fun. You know, you get to, you get to make your own films, you get to choose your own location, write your own story, and, 
and you know you know acting it and it, it's a lot of fun you know and, and i took a couple classes of that in college because that's you know as a kid i used to always write stories and draw things and all that kind of stuff so i always wanted to you know bring one of those stories to life on the screen you know and it's really and it's really cool how it's very very trippy how that process even works and see athletes do it because you know again i've said it many times i'm a baseball player you know and to see at other athletes do it you know like you said it paves the way for more athletes to be like that you know and and it's very very rare you know because you the last person you'd expect to make a short film or just a show in general is an athlete it's the last thing you'd expect because you you know they're only doing sports they're always on the road they're always practicing they're always playing games they're always doing all these things for sports you wouldn't think they'd have that kind of time to direct a movie or, or act in one or whatever the case might be. You know, I know LeBron is doing Space Jam too. Um, he's got a couple of other NBA stars, and I know Michael Jordan did the first Space Jam. You know, we all know that movie. Um, so we obviously we have a lot of high expectations for Space Jam too. You know what I mean? Even you know, despite the fact that Space Jam One was a really really good movie, you know, we have a lot of expectations for the second one. So you know, you would you would think that the you would think that athletes would become actors or or producers, but they can. They can. If you know what you're doing, you got the equipment, you got the right people, you can definitely do it. And that and that and, and it's just really awesome how more athletes are coming out, like Kevin Durant, Kobe Bryant, they're making short films, they're telling really great stories and they're winning Oscars. I absolutely love it. And I do find that funny. I actually didn't even know that Kobe Bryant won an Oscar before William Allen DiCaprio. That's um that's that's quite interesting. But and and it's funny because Leonardo DiCaprio is basically considered one of the greatest actors of our generation, which is which I find pretty funny. But hey, I'm not I'm not the voting system. I think it's pretty terrible. But that's a whole other topic for another time. Um, but look, with that being said, you know, uh, congratulations to Kevin Durant. You know, congratulations to Michael Coney. Congratulations to everybody behind this um behind this um uh, film, Two Distant Strangers. And I, again, I highly recommend you guys watch that short film because it's actually a really really good film. It tells a very great story. And I, I believe it's very accurate. So with that being said, you know, congratulations to everybody behind this film and best of luck to them.